What's going on guys? Um, welcome back to another uh, episode here. Um, as you guys I'm sure are well aware, I am in the middle of a uh, conversion. I am taking my T-Max that was Nitro and I'm converting it into a electric version of a T-Max. It's not an E-Max. Just because you convert the T-Max to electric does not make it an E-Max. Just throwing it out there, okay? Um, so, I wanted to show you guys what what I've gotten so far for the conversion. I had some mail come today. As you guys can see here, I got some packages. Um, so, first off, um, it was highly recommended. There's the transmission that I'm going to be taking apart here. Um, I have not done that yet. It's still dirty and everything. But <clears throat> it was recommended that I get the Traxxas Forward Only Conversion Kit. It eliminates reverse. The part number for it is $51.95. Now, if you guys go way back in my archives, back to, I think, February, um, I actually purchased this for a transmission issue that I had. I actually ended up blowing or breaking that little um, steel pin right there in half. So I ended up purchasing the conversion kit um, and just replacing, I had to replace that little pin and also I believe it was, yeah, it was this gear right here. Um, so I was debating whether or not I should go ahead and purchase another kit or just use the leftover parts that I have from this kit from several months ago. Uh, and as you guys can see, obviously I just went ahead and just purchased the kit this way. This way I have the instructions because I don't have the instructions anymore. I threw them away. Um, and this way I have all the, all the pieces again. Um, it just gives me a little more peace of mind. So I got that. That's a $51.95 from Traxxas. Like I said, that's um, half of what was recommended. The second one is, let me back the camera up here, the single speed conversion kit from Traxxas, okay? Um, from what I can see here, I haven't opened it up yet, but the part number is 5193X. Um, and from what I can see here, it looks like it's just two replacement gears. But from what I've read, these gears are supposed to be thicker than what's in there, you know, what's in the transmission now. Um... As you guys can see here, eliminates two speed for reduced weight and rotating mass. All major components assembled. So basically, um, you know, when when we are converting the transmission, when we tra when we convert this transmission, right now there's a two speed transmission in here, okay, um, and there's a shifting point. Basically, what we're doing with these two parts here is we're basically eliminating that aspect of this transmission. So basically, what, what, we're, what we're doing is we are eliminating, basically, we're eliminating first gear out of it. Um, so it'll be only, a, you know, in second gear. Um, there was also a way that I could um, lock this into second gear so it would have eliminated um the single speed I believe, I believe i got that correct um and basically what i what i would do is i would put a couple screws in the shifting gear in there to lock it lock it in to second ba basically preventing the centripetal um shifting mechanism in there uh, to shift and I thought about that I'm like you know what I, you know once again I, you know if, if, if I'm gonna go ahead and do something I just want to go ahead and do it right um, it would have only saved me anything like five or six bucks so I just chose to go ahead and just buy the two conversion uh, conversion parts that was recommended to me and again that is the single speed and the um, forward only conversion kit so there's that. Now, I'm not done. 
for the conversion kit, you also need, you also need a mounting bracket for your motor, okay? Now, I got this from howtorc.com. This is where I got this from. Uh, I got it shipped, I think it was $24.99, shipped to my door. Um, he, offers, he offers many different varieties of this. This is the low mount. So basically, you know, it sits on, on the chassis like that. You have your transmission right here. The motor mounts, you know, mounts in that way. Um... They, he also had a low mount with like a top ESC bracket where you have your motor in here. Then on top would be your ESC. Um, he, he has many different varieties of this mount. Um, all for around $25. Uh, but this is the way that it came. It came with four, four of the uh, screws that you need. You know, it came with, you know, all the cutouts for your motor. So basically you just, you know... Um, excuse me. So basically, you you mount this to where the engine was at. It fits perfectly on where the engine was at. So you use the same pre-existing pre-drilled holes, and you put that there, and it should line up. Obviously, I haven't tried it yet, but all the research that I've done, and many many people have you know done this conversion, and it seems to have worked for them. So. Put, you know, obviously put some Loctite on those uh, four screws there. But yeah, 20, you know, 25 bucks. Um, it, it took, uh, what did it take? Two days, three days? I think it was three days uh, to get to me. So that's not, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Um, so there's that. And I also... Got a Robinson Racing pinion gear. This is the um, 16 tooth extra hard 5 millimeter pinion gear. There's their website. I actually ordered this on ha towerhobbies.com along, along with. Um, these two parts here, the conversion kit as well. I also ordered those on, on Tower Hobbies. And I also got the 54 tooth steel spur gear. Now, this is the first time that I've uh, I, that I've actually worked with a steel gear. Um I've always gotten the plastic ones, and I mean, I've had, you know, pretty good luck with them, you know, as long as I got the gear mesh right. Uh, so, I'm very excited to try this out. Uh, it's, I mean, you know, definitely a lot heavier than the plastic Traxxas ones. That was the first thing that I noticed. Um, but it looks very well constructed. And I got to give a shout out to uh, RC Fun for recommending this um, gear to me because, like I said, I was I was gonna go with the plastic um, that I I have a whole bunch of them. They're 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 not the 54 tooth. I think they're the 80 something tooth. You know, they were just the stock T Max ones. Um, so got a 54 tooth spur and a 16 tooth pinion. Both from Robinson Racing, which I bought through Tower Hobbies. So, that was what I have today. Um, I'm still waiting on a couple of other parts and pieces that should be here in the next several days. Um, just to give you guys a little sneak preview, a little heads up. Um, I did order a Ghoul RC motor. Um... So I'm excited to test that out. Uh, you know, there's there's still not 
very much about Ghoul RC on YouTube. Um, it's it seems like you know it's it's starting to kind of come out come around, but there's still not a lot available on YouTube. And I actually uh, I forgot what the motor was the the exact motor that I ordered from Ghoul RC. Um, but I was not able to find any information on YouTube about the specific motor that I purchased. Um, you know, I did reviews on, on Amazon, which is where I purchased it from. And, you know, of course, people on there had reviews and stuff. Uh, so that's why I, you know, went ahead and went with it. it, it you know, they had very good reviews on it. Um, but I don't see anything on YouTube about it yet. So I'll definitely be doing, you know, some reviews and stuff on it once I get it. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this transmission taken apart, get it cleaned up. Uh, I don't need the brakes. Um, part of the conversion is your ESC, electronic speed control, um, does all that stuff for you. So that'll, that'll be nice. So, all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get these two conversion kits put in this transmission. And um, I will be back. All right, guys. So here it is. Here is the pile of parts here. Um, I have taken the transmission halves apart. You guys can see here, I disassembled the spur gear. Or, well, I, I took it off of the transmission. Um, here's the slipper pieces here. Uh, the spur gear itself. And here's the inner workings of the transmission. Um, as you guys can see, I also took the brake pads and stuff off. All this stuff here I don't need. Um, probably just throw it away. I don't know. And then here's the two uh, drive shaft pieces that went on to the transmission. So, um, Basically, what I'm going to have to do, guys, um, is basically all these gears are going to have to come out. And basically, I'm going to be replacing it with these gears here. And I also took the single speed gear, or uh, I'm sorry, the single speed um, package. And this is what's on the inside, which is kind of cool. Um, Caraxxus always gives you high quality foam. Like this stuff is like dense. This stuff is very high quality. Um, it's almost a shame to have to like throw it away. I don't know what else I could use it for though. Um, but yeah, it's very, very high quality foam. And you know, I've seen um, other videos with you know Traxxas products and. Everybody kind of has the same, the same opinion about this foam that they package their stuff with. It's very high quality. Um, it's very dense foam. Anyways, back to the project here. Um, here's the two, the the two gears that will make it a single speed. Um, the T Max 3.3 it does not have reverse. It never had reverse. Um, so it's not necessarily reverse that I'm getting rid of, uh, but it's the first gear that I'm getting rid of, okay? So th these gears here will allow that to happen. So I don't think you guys want to be involved with the tedious process of taking this stuff out and all that stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward. I'm going to get these gears taken out. I'm going to then put in the new gears. And once those are put in, before I go ahead and reassemble it, I will, um, you know, get back in here so you guys can see what I did. So give me a second here. Let me uh, do a swappage here of these gears, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So got a little update for you here. As you can see, I've taken the transmission gears out. I've cleaned up the box. And I am putting these single-speed uh, transmission in here, or the trans, I'm sorry, the single speed transmission gears in the housing. Well, run into a little bit of an issue. I've put, well, that's upside down for, first of all. I put this gear in here, which is, you know, the slipper. Okay. 
which, which goes through there. And these don't quite line up. Um, I was I was able to get them, you know, meshed up, but they're so tight, and they actually this one kind of goes that way a little bit. This one kind of goes that way. They don't fit. So like, okay, so I took that one out, and then I then I noticed something else. Got another small little issue here. That's the transmission housing with that new with that new gear in there, and look, it won't it it won't close. It won't close. Um, the gear's too long. The shaft is too long. Look, it won't close. So I can't use this gear. can't use this gear in this transmission box so I'm thinking I shouldn't have purchased this so I might end up having to put some screws in here this is the old gear um, and lock this centrifugal shifter here in place so it doesn't shift and just put that back in there so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do some research guys and I'll be right back all right guys so after doing some homework or some research I finally figured this thing out okay so like I said I have the T-Max 3.3 it's the extended chassis it has the gray transmission gearbox, okay? This one here and howtorc.com um, did put this out there, but through my research, I was just confused as far as if I needed that single speed option or not. Because howtorc said that the classic T Maxes up to the 2.5 needed the single speed and the forward only kit. But they made it a disclaimer though for the 3.3 that the forward only kit is only required. So, you know, I was reading some forums and some people's suggestions on, you know, YouTube and stuff, and I said, get both of them. I said, okay, no problem. So I got both of them. Um, and obviously the single speed is not going to work. Um, and I did a little bit more research. And the reason why is because the single speed is for the black tranny cases, which is up to the 2.5. Um, and basically what it is, <coughs> excuse me, is this is there's a like an, an extended section out here. So it'll actually house, you know, that, that longer shaft. Where this one here, the 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 gray, it's it, it's a little a little shorter. So, with that being said, I'm not using the single speed, but I'll show you what I did and how to RC uh, recommended do this. Um, so let me go ahead and crack this back open here. See if I can do it with, with one hand. Okay. All right. So, making a little mess here of the bearings, but that's all right. All right. So, so here's what I got, guys. Um, sorry, I'm trying to do this one-handed, and it's not quite working out the way that I'd like it to. So, here's what I got. Come on out. All right. All right, here we go. Come on. Okay, so this is the original gear that goes right in here, and it goes to the to the spur gear. Okay, 
And basically what happens is, is sitting right back there, if you notice, this gear is kind of split in half. There's like that back section, and then there's a front section right here, okay? And basically what would happen is, is the first gear would sit back in there, and it would attach to that to that back section of this gear. And then, which, which first gear is, is this gear right here, okay? It was sitting there. And this is what would spin for, for your first gear. And then once this got up to a high enough RPM, the centripetal clutch, which is this metal part right here, would then kick in. And, and, and as, as you can see, there's like a little, um, I, don't know what, what, I don't know what you would call that, like the little shifting mechanism that locks this, which this part right here is second gear, okay? Not not that wide part, or not the wide um, gear, but this uh, skinnier gear. This is actually second gear. So what would happen is this would kick in, boom, lock that gear in place, um, and now you're in second gear. So what I did is I removed first gear, okay, making it a single speed, okay, you guys follow me with this, because basically this this gear and this gear, they're like that, okay, you have first gear spinning, 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 hits a certain RPM, and then boom, the centripetal clutch kicks in, and now this gear is pretty much, this gear is sitting still, and this second gear is now driving the truck. So, I removed first gear, okay, boom, throw that away. And what I did is this looks kind of crazy, but I flung the centripetal lever or whatever you want to call it out to lock this in second gear. And then I, I screwed in these screws here into the into the holes um, in the gear to now lock this in place. I've 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 tugged on this, I've tried getting this to move and it won't move. So it's in there pretty good. Um, how to RC recommended doing this for the 3.3s like i said for the 2.5 and earlier you guys can use the um single speed installation conversion which basically um this section right here it would be first gear then you got the second gear here um and the these two gears are locked together so Really, in theory, that's what I've done. That's what I. That's what I've done here. Um, I've eliminated the first gear, which is here. I've locked second gear in place with this gear here. Um, so I only. So now I'm only in second gear. There, there is no more first gear at all. Okay. So that being said, that goes back in there, and which leads me to. My next piece here, because guys, I, I'm sitting here thinking, okay, I got the single or the uh, forward only kit, but I'm like up to this point, I feel like I've just wasted my money because nothing so far has needed the stuff uh, forward only kit because this didn't have reverse to begin with. But here's where that that kit comes in place. This piece right here was in the kit. Okay, it's got the um, uh the drive the the drive shaft and the gear and I'm like okay well what's what's the difference between this new gear and the and, and the gear that I currently have in there well you probably can't see it on camera but this gear here the one in the back which is the stock gear is actually longer than than the new gear reason being is because of the brakes Okay, this gear is a little bit shorter, or I'm sorry, not, not, not the gear, the, the, the shaft is a little bit shorter, so it doesn't stick out as long as, as, um, doesn't, doesn't protrude as much out of the tranny case as the stock one did, because there's, there's no longer a need for the brakes, okay? Now, there's a couple of, of other options that I had. Oh, so I can, yeah, so so th this here, I can just dispose of that as well, and I just, you know, am now using using that, okay? Um, there was a couple of other options that I had, 
regarding the 3.3, you know, how I could have set this up. Um, I could have used uh, the, 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 the servo for the reverse and all that, but I didn't want to do all that because I want my ESC to reverse it and all that stuff. So I just went ahead and um, did it like this. Uh, I don't need the single speed, you know, conversion kit, period, because I took care of that by doing this. Because like I said, the single speed conversion kit actually sticks out longer and I can't close the transmission case. So, um, I don't know. Does anybody need that? Because I'm not going to use it. Not unless I get another transmission. So if somebody needs that or wants it, let me know. If not, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I don't have I don't have a use for it. It's brand new. I just opened it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this um, transmission put back together here, and put a little bit of grease in here, just light a light coating of grease, um, and I'll go ahead and get the spur gear attached to it. I'll be right back. Alright guys, uh, as you can see, I have a complete transmission again. Um, I got both of the uh, drivetrains put back on there. My steel spur gear is on here, which is pretty cool. Like I said, I've never had a, a steel spur gear before, um, so that's, that's pretty cool. But yeah guys, I pretty much used... Um, all the existing hardware as you can see I got the slipper clutch pad pads in there um, you know everything that I had with the with the plastic spur gear is on this one as well um, one other uh, one other thing to note is if, you know if any of you guys are, are gonna be doing the conversion and you guys are gonna be using the included um, you know drive shaft the uh, one here okay but the shortened version the one that I just put in the transmission uh, like I had made mention that this side right here is a little bit shorter because you're taking out you're taking out the brakes the brake pads you're taking the brake pads out the brake disc out and then this here, um, you know, this here slid in there, and then it was attached to this little knob there. Went, you know, it went in the back there, and there was a brake pad that sat down in there. Okay, which is why this knuckle right here that went in there had had you know had these two little. Uh, metal prong sticking out for the brake pad so you know it the brake pad was sitting there like so and that's how the truck would stop well that was all fine and dandy with this one here because there, there was enough length here for the brake pads and everything to come down and, and compress but with that shorter shaft that we installed um I was not able to use this. The holes in this knuckle and the hole in the shaft there did not line up due to those two prongs. So I had to attach a new uh, knuckle to this, you know, the same one as the front, you know, this is standard knuckle, um, and that, that worked just fine. So, you know, keep that in mind too, you know, if you guys are doing the conversion, and you guys don't go with the original stock shaft, uh, the output shaft, um, you guys are gonna need to have a normal knuckle, not the one that has the prongs. This will not fit, okay? Just thought I'd let you guys know that. Um, so, the transmission is, is good to go. I... Got the steel spur gear on there. Um, I greased the um, the gears in there. Just a little, little bit of grease, a little bit, not not a lot, because if you put too much in there, 
um, it'll actually re reverse what, you, what you're trying to do um, and actually gum it all up but uh, everything spins freely here like I said guys I did not use the single speed installation conversion kit because the shaft um, was too long for this gray transmission case that is only for the black transmission case okay so like I said if any of you guys need it or want it I have it sitting here uh, like I said it's brand new it's brand new I opened it a couple hours ago try putting it in there and it does not work for my transmission like I said here it is right here here's the instructions um, so if anybody, if anybody wants that shoot me a message let me know um, if not I don't know what I'm gonna do with it I mean it's only a couple bucks it was like 10 bucks online but anyways guys um, that's gonna do it for this video I know this video is long um, but I try to be as detailed and, and as informative as I can especially when you know when, when I'm doing stuff like this you know issues that I run into or problems that I run into you know I'm sure somebody else is gonna run into the same issue or has um, and I just like to you know be as informative and say hey yeah I had this issue too or whatever but like I said guys just a real quick recap and then I'll close this video out um, here's the stock plastic spur gear I swapped this out with with, with the steel one um, basically what I did is I got the um, forward only conversion kit this is the first gear in the transmission I simply took this out so this will not be included there's no more first gear in my transmission um, and then what I did is I um, locked my second gear in you know in place so it's always going to be in second gear eliminating first and then this is the output drive shaft here um like i said i replaced the drive shaft with the included drive shaft um in the uh in the forward only conversion kit and like i said make sure that you guys keep in mind that the one that's included is shorter because it does not have the extension for the brakes okay the ESC is going to be doing the braking that's that's how I want it there are some other options online um, howtorc.com is where I got you know the majority of my information I actually had to go back to that website to do a little bit of research because I, I, I was having this issue um, there's a couple of options on there if you guys do want to um, you know keep a servo or you guys want to you know keep your brakes or whatever um, You know there there are options on there on how to do that But like I said for me, I wanted to alleviate the brakes all together and just have my ESC um, You know do that for me. So I took out first gear locked in second gear um, swapped out the output shaft in my transmission um, I Got rid of this knuckle here as it did not fit because it was for the brakes. Replaced it with a standard knuckle there. Um, I got my steel spur gear on there. Greased the gears on the inside. Um, and that's pretty much it. Like I said, I also have a steel extra hard um, pinion gear that's going to go with this. And... That's pretty much what I did, guys, to my transmission. Uh, the outside still looks a little bit dirty, but that's all right. The inside's clean. So, anyways, guys, uh, thanks for sticking sticking into this, sticking around and watching this video. Um, I hope I hope I've at least helped someone uh, that may be trying to do the conversion or looking in how to do it, and you know, I hope I could at least have given you guys a pointer or two from my experience. So uh, please comment, like, subscribe, thumbs up. Um, there's going to be some other how-to videos during this um, conversion as well, which will be labeled appropriately. So until next time, guys, as usual, see you all later.